Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Vitalis Jones and I'm here to show off the T100 and comparing the two gallons per acre versus the four gallons per acre at max speed. All right, so I already mapped out our field right here. It's just gonna be right over here. So for the speed test, and I'm just pretty much like a T50, you just select use and when you select your field. Now I'm going to be setting it at two gallons per acre for this first run. Now the spray droplet size that does affect speed. So I am going to have it at pretty much the medium because as you can see here, if I do 50, it's going to max it out at 40. So I can't reach the potential of 65 feet per second. So I'm just going to go right in the middle. So now I can go to that 65 feet per second. Now we can see here, flight speed exceeds 45.3 feet per second, fly with caution. Uh, that is because uh, anything above 45 feet per second is considered not warranty. Um, you are flying a lot faster than the drone is pretty much the operation uh, is meant to be handled. Um, so when you are doing um, 65 feet per second, you are doing well above that. So the drone can fly this speed. It is not covered in warranty if anything happens to your drone if while flying the speed, however. So 45 feet per second is the kind of like the normal operating range, like the maximum that you would want to fly for your operation. So now going right here, we have it at 17 feet above crops. So let's say if I want to do 10 feet, we will get this warning right here that says for high speed operation, make sure task altitude is greater than five meters. So when you are flying below five meters, it'll limit the flight speed of the drone. So the T100 will not be pretty much hitting this 65 feet per second, it'll be flying slower. So the minimum you wanna do is roughly around 17. So we can see here actually, if I do 16, we get the error. If I do 17 and it's gone. So now basically without that error, we will be flying that 65 feet per second. So just so you guys know, um, anything, just to kind of reiterate, anything below five meters or 17 feet, the drone will be limiting its speed. And that is because in case there is any obstacles or basically to assist with the obstacle avoidance, um, it will be flying slower uh, so it can detect things easier. Now, route spacing, the route spacing of the drone with the standard uh, spraying nozzles um, on the back for the spray, or the spray rod uh, is going to be around 36 feet. So spray width, um, so we are setting it to 33, roughly 33 there's going to be some overlap but when we set it to 63 it does a little bit over so just to be safe going with 33 cool and then that's all of our settings pretty much flight we're just going to orchard um then i can actually set to flat return to home speed is just normal you know 20 feet so yeah all of our normal standard settings all of the obstacle avoidance is turned on and again we will be flying at 65 feet per second, which is well above the warranty speed of 45 feet per second. So another thing for our field, our field is right here. The field area is exactly five acres. So the amount sprayed will be nine gallons when we have a full tank. Um, so in, when I select use, it's going to be the spray area is essentially 4.5 acres. So field five acres, the covered area is 4.5. And again, we have 95% battery with a essentially a full tank with 25.9 gallons out of the 26.1. All right, so kind of just double checking everything, making sure all of our stuff is good, obstacles, no obstacles in the area, the no need for connection points, everything's good to go. Kind of double checking our parameters, 65 feet per second, two gallons per acre, uh, 320 micrometer droplets, 17 feet above crops, and 33 feet route spacing. So now I'm just going to select start.
All right, so the mission was complete. It took three minutes and 37 seconds. The task area was 4.45 acres and the amount sprayed was 8.9 gallons. So pretty much we're seeing that, yeah, it did take three minutes and 37 seconds to cover five acres at the max speed with two gallons per acre. So now we will test with the uh, four gallons per acre um, measure. So a couple things to note, we started at 95% battery. We are now at 2% battery. So just to be aware, um, we do have pretty much those safety settings turned off. So the critical warning and all that stuff, um, basically essentially saying for the drone to land um, at like below 15 uh, or below 20, anything like that. Uh, we do have those off for this. Um, just to reiterate, you want those on for sure. Um, you want those to be active at all times when you're flying a drone. Um, ideally, you want your drone essentially returning to home at around 20 to 15% of battery. Depending on how big your field is, depending on how long it takes for your drone to fly to the end position, 20% um, is roughly the safe area. But yeah, now, things to note as well, it is a very hot day here in Southern California, um, 89 degrees and sunny, and our battery reached uh, about 184 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see on the remote, we did get a warning. We could see the warning right here, actually. Uh, battery overheated, flight safety may be affected. So just uh, be aware of that. Make sure you're always using the battery cooling kit um, whenever you are operating in hot areas such as Southern California. So yeah. All right, so we have a new battery and the drone has been refilled. Battery is at 99%, uh, gallons 26. So going to do the exact same field. So it's gonna be a five acre field and we are just going to use. Now for this one, we are going to be doing the four gallons per acre. So before we were doing two, now we are doing four. And with the four gallons per acre, we can now reach the max flow limit of 7.9 gallons per minute that the standard two nozzles or two spray rods can do. Um, if you want to do more than the 7.9 gallons per minute, reach roughly around 10, it'll, you would have to attach the mist spraying kit. Um, same droplet size, flight speed. So now we see a difference with the flight speed. Um, basically by increasing the application rate, it limits the flight speed. So now we are stuck at the 42.7 rather than the 65 feet. And as you can see here, if I change this back to two, and I max this out. Now we can do the 65 feet per second, but this is the four, four gallons per acre test. So it's going to max out at 42. Height above crops, same as usual. If we go to 16, we will get this warning. Oh, it only limits us because we are not going the max speed. Good to know. So height above crops, 15, but for Consistency, we're gonna keep it at 17. Um, route spacing, 33, same as last time. Uh, return to home speed, 40 feet per second, make it a little quicker. Return to home altitude, 52 feet, obstacle avoidance and radar is on. So now we have pretty much everything set. Task area is going to be 4.5. The amount sprayed is going to be 18 gallons. So pretty much everything could be done. Um, another thing too as well, in our last test, I pretty much, the drone was pretty much out from 95% all the way down to almost zero. Uh, so now during this operation, it will take longer um, because of the lower flight speed. And because of that, we will pretty much, is a pretty high chance that we will run out of battery during the operation. So just double check, I'm going to make sure that everything is set here. So I set it to return to home below 25%. Uh, critical is going to be 10%, so we can raise that to, yeah, we can go 10%. Return to home at 25%, and it's going to land on its own at 10%. So, have all that set. So now, pretty much, we are good to go.
All right, so that flight took three minutes and 44 seconds. Uh, task area, 4.45 acres, 17.6 uh, gallons sprayed. Uh, now we are at, I was wrong earlier, we are at 29%. So came to the realization, uh, when you're flying max speed, you're burning more power. So it made sense for the previous test flight to burn more power than this one because we are flying slower. Um, and now we have 7.1 uh, gallons left in the tank. So yeah, so again, the field area was five acres. The task area sprayed was 4.5. And now we notice that in essentially about 30 seconds, roughly 30 seconds, the drone doubled the amount of, it only took 30 seconds for the drone to basically cover double the amount of spray when you're doing two gallons per acre. Um, which, depending on your operation, that's pretty ideal. Um, so that's kind of a good example of flying fast doesn't always mean it's the most efficient. Um, so yeah, it's a bit essentially about finding that sweet spot. All right, so that was the comparison between the spraying at two gallons per acre versus the four gallons per acre at the maximum respective speed. Um, another thing to note as well, just uh, kind of in general, do not fly around like the 65 feet per second. That is well above the warranty covered speed. You want to be around 45 or lower. And as we can see with the basically the speed of the drone, um, it was burning a lot of power. So if you are flying at max speed, you're going to burn a lot of your battery power and you're going to kind of potentially cause a lot of issues with your drone if you're not very careful with it. That does fall under user error. That is pretty much all. Again, I'm Ryan, a data analyst and after sales manager here at Talos Drones. And that was the comparison with the T100.